morning. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. You, O Lord, kept a record of sins. O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, therefore you are here. Since we are gathered here at God's word, call upon him in prayer and praise, and receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ in the fellowship of this altar. Let us first consider our unworthiness and confess before God and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and we cannot free ourselves from our sinful condition. Together as his people, let us take refuge in the infinite mercy of God, our Heavenly Father, seeking his grace for the sake of Christ and saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his son to die for you and for his sake, forgive you all of your sins. As a called and ordained servant of Christ and by his authority, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. church with your perpetual mercy because of our frailty we cannot but fall keep us ever by your help from all things hurtful and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation through jesus christ your son our lord who lives and reigns with you in the holy spirit one god now and forever Amen. our first reading is from the book of proverbs the fourth chapter Hear, my son, and accept my words, that the years of your life may be many. I have taught you the way of wisdom. I have led you in the paths of uprightness. When you walk, your step will not be hampered, and if you run, you will not stumble. Keep hold of instruction. Do not let go. Guard her, for she is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked. Do not walk in the way of evil. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it and pass on. For they cannot sleep unless they have done wrong. They are robbed of sleep unless they have made someone stum stumble. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. For the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know what over what they stumble. My son, be attentive to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them, 
and healing to all their flesh. Keep your hearts with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. This is the word of the Lord. Psalm 119. How can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the just decrees of your mouth. In the way of your testimonies I delight, as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts, and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our epistle lesson is from St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, the fifth chapter. But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to St. Luke, the 17th chapter. Glory Glory to you, o Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along between Samaria and Galilee, and as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Is no one found to return to give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, O Christ. We now confess our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the 
grace and peace to you from God our Father and from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, have you ever noticed how some people kiss up to a boss to get special favors or to get to be promoted? Most co-workers re resent that kind of kissing up. You know, they resent those people who try to get ahead in that manner. When a kiss up is trying to earn a favor, it's usually obvious. The job I held a long time ago, I had a couple of co-workers who kissed up in a manner that was so noticeable that they might as well just get down on the floor and kiss the guy's feet. It was that obvious. <laughs> Dear friends, there's a difference, though, between someone who is trying to earn a favor by kissing up and someone else who is showing their gratitude for what the person has already received. Kissing up and showing gratitude may look very similar. There's a big difference. The start of our gospel text today, as Jesus entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. The Greek word that they use, translated as master, can be used for anyone who is appointed to be an overseer or a boss with authority. None of the lepers are trying to kiss up to Jesus. They're not trying to earn the favor that they are seeking. They, in fact, acknowledge that they don't deserve his help, just as we acknowledge that we don't deserve God's help. They're unable to kiss up and earn his favor, just as we are unable to earn God's favor. We're all sinners in need of God's mercy. None of us deserve God's blessings, for we are all sinners who have actually disobeyed our Heavenly Father. So we cried out, begging for his mercy, as we sang the Kyrie just a few moments before at the start of this service, just as the lepers did. And just as the lepers received God's mercy, so have you. He's actually made us to be a royal priesthood of all believers. A royal priesthood. He has adopted us into his heavenly and royal household that we may reign with him in the life to come. Scripture indicates that if we endure, we will also reign with him. How profound is that favor that Christ has given us? In our gospel text today, the grateful Samaritan who had just been healed of his leprosy fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. And I assure you, that man was not kissing up, but rather he was showing true thankfulness and love for the Lord. He is there at Jesus' feet after he has already been helped. He's not trying to earn the Lord's favor. He's already got it, just as you already have God's favor. The leper was helped by God. He was miraculously healed by the Lord. You also have been helped by the Lord. The Lord has shown mercy to you. Although there are millions of people in the world who do not have a good future to look forward to, you have faith. You've been blessed with faith, and therefore you have an eternal future that is so good, we struggle to even comprehend how good it's really going to be. Are we grateful for what the Lord has done? Are we truly thankful? True thankfulness can be seen and heard. When a boss gives you a promotion and entrusts you with authority in the benefits that go along with that position, you show your gratitude. Not only do you work hard, but you speak highly of the boss, and you do so boldly. You help him achieve the goals of the organization that he's leading. When it's genuine, love and thankfulness can be seen. The grateful leper in our text today is a good example of what true thankfulness looks like. He goes out of his way to show his thankfulness very intentional about showing his gratitude. But there is, is someone else who is even a better example. Jesus is the perfect example, but even more importantly, he is the creator of true thankfulness. He is the creator of true thankfulness. On the night when he was betrayed, Jesus gave thanks. He knew that he would soon suffer tremendous pain and be humiliated by being hung naked on a cross. 
but he gave thanks. He knew that in the midst of his excruciating pain that he would endure for the benefit of others, he would be ridiculed. He knew that. He also knew that the Father had given all things into his hands, that he had come from God, and that he was going back to God. He knew that he would soon be exalted after the crucifixion. He knew full well what was going to happen and why it would happen. In that context, in the upper room, right before his passion would begin, he gave thanks. Because of his disciples' sins and also our sins, he had to suffer and die. He knew all that. And yet, Scripture says he loved them to the end. Jesus showed his love towards God, and he showed his love and grace, his thankfulness to his neighbors by serving them to the very end. On the night when he was betrayed, right before he would be arrested and falsely accused, he rose from supper. He laid aside his outer garments and taking a towel, tied it around his waist, and he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet. He showed his love and grace to the disciples to the very end. He showed his love for you to the very end. Amen. He served. His thankfulness, his grace toward them was very apparent in his actions. <coughs> the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many, as a ransom for you. He gave his life for us all so that our sins would be atoned for. And now moved by his profound and obvious love for us, we give him thanks. Like the thankful Samaritan who had been healed of leprosy, we also turn back and we go out of our way to praise God so that all of our neighbors can hear. We also bow before our gracious Lord in humble thanks for all that he has done. As we are reminded what he has done, we are given a genuine thankfulness that moves us to pitch in and do our part in building up Christ's kingdom. He loved because he first loved us. We give thanks because he has already given us his grace. He's given us his grace, his thanks. We give thanks in all circumstances as we show our thanks in whatever situations we find ourselves on, knowing that we all have a glorious future in Christ Jesus. Our God has promised to work good out of all circumstances. Even though we also recognize that through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God, we give thanks that he has given us entry into such a kingdom. On the night when he was betrayed, Jesus gave thanks before he shed his blood. And because he did shed his blood, we have God's grace. For the blood of Jesus, our Savior, cleanses us from all sin, including our previous sins of ingratitude. His thankfulness, his grace that is given to us as a gift, is what saves us. The word grace Charis in the Greek means more than just God's favor. It also includes God's thankfulness. When you say grace at the dinner table, you give thanks at the dinner table. Because the perfect righteousness of Christ has been credited to you through faith, you have God's grace, his thankfulness toward you. Jesus earned God's grace by his perfect, thankful life. And that grace of God is given to you through faith. The perfect, suffering servant has earned God's grace for you. Just as Abraham believed, and it was credited to him as righteousness, so it is with you. Through faith, you also get credit for the work of Christ when you are made to be a part of the body of Christ. For you, you've all been clothed with Christ in your baptism. So God looks at you in thankfulness, in grace, because of what Christ has done on your behalf. So by grace, you have been saved through faith. This is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, which was actually earned for you by Christ your Savior. Jesus gave thanks, and he continues to give us grace. And that thankfulness and grace inspires us to live thankful lives that bring praise to our gracious God. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus and for life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Please rise for prayer if you're able. Let us pray for the whole church of God in Christ Jesus and for all people. Great.
gracious God, when your son healed the ten lepers, only one of them returned to give thanks. As we receive your blessings that come to us through the word and the sacraments, forgive our shallow gratitude and our lack of humility before your generosity. Create right hearts within us to give you all glory, honor, and praise in what we say and what we do. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Gracious Lord, please bless the work of missionaries everywhere. We ask your particular blessing upon Reverend David Baker and his work in Mongolia, Deaconess Kim Boltman and her work in Germany, and Reverend Charles Ferry and his work in Asia. Bless also our mission work here in our neighborhood and in our school. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Lord God Almighty, we give, give wisdom and integrity to those serving in positions of authority within our government. Please bless the work of those in the legislative, the judicial, and the executive branches of our government, that they may acknowledge the natural law that has been written on all hearts and conform their governance and submission to your will. Bless also the work of emergency personnel and the members of our armed forces, that we may all live in peace. Lord, in your mercy. <coughs> we pray for all who are homebound, especially Janet, Sharon, Carol, Lee, and Peter. Give them comfort in the knowledge that they are not alone, that you will never leave them nor forsake them. Lord, in your mercy. <coughs> Lord, you are the great physician of body and soul. Have mercy on those who are ill or in need of healing especially Linda, David, Karen, John, Luana, Maria, William, Mary, Jim, Vivian, Imelda, Nick, Megan, John, Marge, Willie, Terry, Jim, Bob, Joseph and James, also those who are in hospice, especially Joyce and Lorraine. Bless them all with strength and faith in their times of need. Bless the work of medical professionals that they may serve as your instruments of healing. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We pray for Lorraine Radovan and the loss of her son John, and for the family and friends of Gary Schleicher, that you would bless them with confidence in the resurrection. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Lord, bless our school and our efforts to connect the students and their families with the love of Christ. We ask your blessing upon Carrie Bowman, Elizabeth Gottschalk, Kenzie Peters, and Christy Bratz as they serve in our school. Give our students the joy of learning and sustain our teachers with energy and passion to pass on the faith to the next generation. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. O oh Lord God, look with compassion upon all those who are suffering from hunger, homelessness, poverty, discrimination, reduced employment, or unemployment. Have mercy and take away their suffering. Move us all to be your instruments of mercy and grace to those around us. Lord, in your mercy. All these things and whatever else you know that we need, grant us, Father, for the sake of him who died and rose again, and now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever.
be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Let me truly go to right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you O Lord Holy Father Almighty and everlasting God for the countless blessings you so freely bestow on us and all creation above all we give thanks for your boundless love shown to us when you sent your only begotten son Jesus Christ into our flesh and laid on him our sin giving him into death that he might not die eternally and because he has now risen from the dead and lives and reigns through all eternity all who believe in him will overcome sin and death and will rise again to new life. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and singing. King of all creation, for you have had mercy on us and given your only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. In your righteous judgment, you condemned the sin of Adam and Eve who ate the forbidden fruit, and you justly barred them and all their children from the tree of life. Yet in your great mercy, you promised salvation by a second Adam, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and made his cross a life-giving tree for all who trust in him give you thanks for the redemption you have prepared for us through Jesus Christ. Grant that your Holy Spirit that we may faithfully eat and drink of the fruits of his cross and receive the blessings of forgiveness, life, and salvation that come to us in his body and blood. Hear us as we pray in his name and as he has taught us. took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said take eat this is my body which is given for you this do in remembrance of me same way also he took the cup after supper and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying drink of it all of you this cup is the new testament of my blood which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me the peace of the lord be with you always amen
Spirit. So we have the true body. The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Give us the death of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Give us the true body. The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Give us the death of your sins. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share the blessed Eucharist. Take ye the true body of Christ. Give us the Eucharist. Share
Christ was given to death for you, the body of Christ given to death for your sins, the true blood of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ shed for the remission of all your sins. Good Lord Christ, I shall pray. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, strengthen and preserve your body and soul until life everlasting. fountain and source of all goodness, who in loving kindness sent your only begotten Son into the flesh. We thank you that for his sake you have given us pardon and peace in this sacrament. We ask you not to forsake your children, but always to rule our hearts and minds by your Holy Spirit, that we may be enabled constantly to serve you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.
interesting conversation. Um, I'd like to thank everybody who's been uh, flipping this room and uh, arranging the chairs and bring them in there. Uh, th this uh, is the school cafeteria during the during the week, and so that has to be flipped around. We're going to uh, ask you if you could help that if you're able right after this service. Um, the first uh, five rows of chairs, is that right? Yeah, five chairs don't need to be taken out, but they will need to be rearranged. But if you're in the, the last part of the, the back part of the room, then you can help put those chairs on the, the cart when you're done and stick around for conversation. Many hands makes light work. So appreciate your help on that. Uh, have a question. 